I did get to see a lot of the world and a lot of uh, experiences overseas as my time during the Navy. Hi, my name is Ed McComb. I was in the Navy. I was an officer. I served from 92 to 97. What uh, made me decide to join the service? Well, I had three uncles who were in the service, and I thought highly of them, but especially my Uncle Charles. He was an Army officer, and he used to tell us about his stories of being in Germany and serving in the Army and, and taking care of his uh, battalion. So I, I had a high opinion going into it, but what really, what really sealed the deal for me was getting an ROTC scholarship. So I was trained as an officer, so I learned a lot about leadership and taking care of my troops. I was trained as a surface warfare officer. That means I get to drive a ship. So I learned about rules of the road and uh, safe ship handling. And, you know, that isn't as applicable to some of my jobs now, but it sure helps with my sailing. And I also was trained as an engineering officer. So as a nuclear power officer, I learned how to uh, control a reactor uh, nuclear reactor power plant, uh, but also how to run a steam, uh, a steam engine plant and a lot of technical experience from that. So I was an electrical engineer by degree, and I learned a lot about mechanics and nuclear physics. So that really helped me uh, after I got out of the Navy in my, in my technical career as an engineer. Oh, memorable moments. Oh, there's a lot of those. Uh, I'll, I'll stick with the good ones. Uh, you know, some of it during my training. So as a college student, I was in ROTC as a midshipman. And on the summer, we'd go on cruises, training cruises. So one of them was called Cortramid. Career orientation and training. So we spent one week with surface, one week with the Marines, one week with submarines, and another week with aviation. So during that period, I got to fly a helicopter and go on hydrofoil and a hovercraft. Um, we got to go on a submarine for three days, and I got to, uh, with the Marines, go through their confidence course. Um, another summer, I sailed on a sail ship, a sailboat from, uh, from South Carolina up to Newport, Rhode Island. Um, with a crew of other college students and a couple of our staff. So, you know, you can join the Navy and see the world. So I did. I got to see several ports in Europe, including France and Italy. Uh, I did a Mediterranean cruise, so we spent a lot of time in the Greek uh, resort islands, and that was pretty neat. Uh, I did things like cross the equator, which is a big naval tradition. Well, I, I brought a few things with me. Um, this one is uh, something I got as an uh, anti-submarine warfare officer. So I had the division that had the torpedo tubes and the, and the sonar. So when I left the division, they made this for me. We actually shot torpedoes at a range, so I had experienced uh, shooting torpedoes. And uh, one, of the, one of the sailors made this up for me. So that was, that was a good memory of, uh, of being in the combat uh, department on the ship. Uh, later in my experience as an engineering officer, I was the damage control officer. So uh, I owned a team that did all the firefighting for the ships. So I went through the Navy's firefighting school and advanced firefighting school. And uh, so I was on a, uh, a fire team uh, as part of my experiences on the ship. On the ship, we uh, did a cruise, a Mediterranean, Mediterranean cruise. So that was a six-month cruise. Uh, and, and what we do is like a yearbook. So in, in high school, you have yearbooks. For cruises, we had yearbooks. Uh, so a lot of pictures of the different divisions, the uh, officers and the, and the men aboard the ship. Um, a lot of our ports of call, so just a good memory of that. So this is the Mediterranean cruise that we did. So just uh, some of the memories I have. I also brought with me my, my shoulder board as an officer. So as an unrestricted line officer, I had the star. The two bars in the Navy means as a lieutenant. That's the equivalent to a captain in the, in the Army or in the Marines. Uh, but the Navy has a little different system, so it's an O3. I was a lieutenant, so uh, and that's why I was my guy, the Navy lieutenant. So a lot of good memories. You know, the Navy, uh, I have a lot of good memories of being in the Navy. There's some hard times, too. It's hard on the family. Um, being in the military can be hard on your family. So I give a lot of credit to those families who make it work. You know, I have a twin brother who was also an officer. So a couple times during my career, uh, we were able to meet up. So uh, just by chance, he was at an Army chemical warfare school in Alabama at the same time I was. Uh, so it was a pretty neat experience to spend some time with them. One big thing about the military that I really enjoyed at the time was the camaraderie uh, of the term shipmate and uh, someone on your ship and the closeness you had as a community because you're literally in the boat at the same time, right? You're all experienced in the work and you go to Liberty Calls uh, and, and ports together. So it was a really neat atmosphere of, of, of shipmate and having your shipmates back. 
um, you know, with the whole ship, but especially with the wardroom and the other officers. If I had any advice to give to a high school student, well, you know, do something you like, do something you enjoy. In your career, you can spend a lot of time uh, doing your job. So pick something you, you enjoy, something that uh, brings value to you.